Hey guys, welcome to another Spectrum of the Sea Singapore cruise with me. We got onto the earliest time slot, so we could board around 11 plus. That's why we have our luggage here with us at Windjammer, because the rooms were not even open yet. The Asian food is generally better than the Western food at Windjammer, and we looked at Singapore's port while dining. Last time we were here, they didn't have the vanilla flavor for soft serve and this time round they did. It tastes like Mr. Softy. We don't have my time dining so we just walk in after 7 plus and allocated to the same table each meal. I think our table number was 555. They always give you beef options for the first night to impress you. So we started off with beef carpaccio good old escargot, pumpkin soup and roasted beef tenderloin. I think the other dish we got was either a plate of lamb or duck. I'm not a fan of meat but the standard of the cruise beef has always been good. I love the souffle and it is just as good this time and we tried a peach shortcake. This is our first cruise in years that we are allowed to go down the port. We are now at Port Klang. The rain just stopped, so the weather was kind of cold. We took a car to Klang Bakute. We have been craving this for so long and this was our first stop. The hot soup was perfect in this weather and there was so much liao inside this pot. Even the yu tiao tasted fresh and not oily. Now the Klang Bakute in Singapore tastes horrible to us. Next up, the Mr. Loves Village Park restaurant. I have no memory of this place, but he says that he brought me here before. We shared one plate because it was so big. The rice was quite fragrant. Ayam very well fried. Even the rendang was not bad. This place is actually very big inside and packed full of people inside. Next, we took a car to KL for this one thing. Our favorite Nauki beef noodles. We love street food. This is by the roadside and you do not touch the chili powder in that full pot because it looks like it's going to give you a stomach ache. The soup is so good, rich yet refreshing. I love the tendon. It's well clean and the meat noodles are flavorful. Going back to the cruise ship, this became like a photo spot. Everyone was here taking photos with the view of the ship in the back. Um, yes, I'm editing this video three months later and the weather was just right. It made it feel like a sleepy, quiet town. I think it was also because we were in a food coma. Surprisingly, given the weather, we caught a brilliant sunset. On the next few days, there wasn't a sunset as pretty as this. Luckily, we were in wind jammer with the glass windows. You can still kind of comfortably look at the sunset. The whole place was bathed in orange glow. It opens around 5 plus, so we were here for our first dinner. I think that that was a crab meat soup and there's also hot chocolate and so much Asian food while you look comfortably at the sunset. I'm a fan of their appetizers. We had salmon tata, shrimp ceviche and cocktail shrimps. My husband would usually eat the main dish and that looks like beef again. We had a cherry dessert that was way too sweet and sour and also a lemon curd tartlet. I love the lemon cake part. My husband then got a royal chocolate cake as his dessert. We have been thinking of flying to Penang before we realized that our cruise was docking there and while queuing for Totsun Cafe, we had the Tau Sa Pia from Ban Heng that is just right beside and this is just like a classic Malaysian breakfast place. He needed to get his simple nasi lemak. It is very very cheap because it's very small with not a lot of liao inside. Uh, it was quite average. The toast was average too but the kopi was so good. I do not know what drink that was. I think it was liang tei, but it tasted a bit strange. <laughs> the egg was really good though. Next up, he wanted some kui tiao teng, so we went to Cafe Evergreen. And this was out of my expectations. It's super clean inside first up, and this soup looks very boring. It does taste um, quite boring, but the intestines were so clean. I'm going to go back there. We are now at King Ping Coffee Shop, but they call it King Ping Cafe to be a little bit fancier. They are famous for the law bar. And you can really tell that they change their oil regularly. It's very fresh and crispy. And there are people standing around waiting for you to be done with your table. That's how famous they are. And we had the Penang Cha Kui Tiao. We were gonna go for another Hokkien Mee elsewhere, but it was closed on the weekend. So while waiting for the car to come, I saw this Tutti Frutti Slurpee. 
Uh, it wasn't good though. I should have known I didn't even like Tutti Frutti in the States. Now we are back at the ship. Uh, I'm gonna shut up so that you can cleanse your ears with the bird's sound. We were back on the ship after lunchtime because Penang has nothing much to do except to eat. So we took a little stroll on the upper decks and as we passed by, we saw that the C-Plex doghouse was open. We have never walked by it while it was open on any of our previous cruise. They are like Subway. You can choose the bread. There's cheese bread and then there's three different kinds of sausages. I think we enjoyed the chicken one. There's also like pork and beef and you can get so many condiments and side dishes. So you can eat a lot there. <laughs> For us, cruise is really just all about napping and eating. We were here looking at the sheep pool away from the port because we wanted to see around Penang Island and I had this amazing broccoli soup which disgusted my husband. There was a shrimp salad again and I also had my escargot. I think I had escargot for every single dinner and he had an egg drop soup. Over here, this looked like beef short rib with mashed potatoes and even the carrots were soft and nice. This one is mushroom risotto which was pretty boring and he ordered this one because it had the word royal again. It's a royal cheesecake. Oh, I think this is the lemon curd tartlet. They have a lot of lemon sour desserts. The second last day is sea day which means breakfast on board. We had American breakfast. You know I had to ask for extra sauté mushrooms. I asked for this scone, like I literally showed them a picture of the scone and I asked for one but it came with like a huge plate of breads. And also that wrap is super super filling. You can also get windows seat but window seat will be really warm. We walked through this music hall. It's so pretty, right? But nobody uses it. Everybody just walks through it like us. <laughs> Lunchtime, we decided to try something different. We had this carrot cake, which please don't order, it's not good. But this one was good. It was just like a mix of berries and blackberries too. Raspberries, I ate all the berries. <laughs> and this one is some kids pasta. Uh, but it wasn't that great. So we actually had to come up to Wind Jammer for a second lunch which I had some cucumbers. <laughs> you could really see that the ship was moving pretty fast. And then I'm really surprised that he's still wearing the hoodie. But we decided to come up to the solarium. It's very nice and toasty in here. So he found this sofa. We sat on it and I think we both almost fell asleep. You can really see the speed of the waves, which he was very keen on. We watched the waves and Noasai until we decided to just go back to the room and take a nap. <laughs> After the nap, we were walking through and I realized that I filmed too much food. So I decided to put in some clips of this place. <laughs> it's actually all the same on all the crews. They all look like the same empty restaurants. Oh, we came here because I wanted to come here to look at the wake of the sheep. They were having a Harry Potter trivia and luckily we didn't participate because we were muttering the answers and we got everything wrong <laughs> it's really nice here when it's not that noisy when the game show isn't too obnoxious we decided to walk out this was so windy my phone was flying around and you can just see like different parts of the ship it's also very quiet because people do not walk out so we walk all the way to the other end this has become our favorite spot and we said that we will come back here again on our next cruises. Now, the last day of dinner, it was like very fun, a lot of music going on, but I've never seen a chocolate fondue fountain. I've never seen it on the previous cruise. There was like fruits and also different kind of pastries and marshmallow and two giant bowls of the cocktail stream. It was really quite funny how giant the bowls were. So you can help yourself and take as much as you want. So after that, I finally remembered to film like the day in the elevator without freaking out anyone because it was an empty elevator. We had our dinner. You know, that means an escargot and there was also a salmon graflex. There was also a dance performance that was never seen before, followed by one of the waitress singing. She was really quite good. And it was quite funny because they started calling for a medical emergency. And this one over here is a cheese tortelloni. Um, not that great, don't get it. But they had their aged prime rib of beef, always so good on each cruise. We now had the 
pretty summer fruit pavlova and banana split. You must share this with someone. They're really good but really sweet. And it's the last day I walked through the casino and I decided to film it <laughs> because there was no one around, I guess. We are heading to our last breakfast and, you know, <laughs> I had the scones again. I really think that the cruise scones are really good. There is this wrap over here. It's super big, so do not order the wraps if you're not sharing. And we really like the American breakfast, so we got that again because they just cook the eggs to perfection. And it's just like a last view of this dining hall. We were on the last few tags to disembark, so we had a lot of time, even though we were the first few to board. Hey guys, I'm back from my cruise. We have been to multiple cruise to nowhere cruises and this time around they finally opened up the ports. So we went to two different ports. We went to Klang uh, in which we kept KL, so kind of like going to KL. And then the second one we went to Penang. Let me just show you in order first. Let me show you the ones that I got in Klang or Klang. I'm not very sure how you pronounce it. Our last stop was KL because we wanted to eat this beef noodle that was one hour cap away from the pot. So I bought all this at the 7-Eleven which I think is good because it's a big city. There were like three or four 7-Elevens right beside each other. I needed some purse candy because I was running out so we have like Haichu and strawberry. I don't know why I ended up with so many strawberries but I bought the stuff that I've never seen before in Singapore. Like this one. They came out with the lemon flavor which I see in Singapore but I've never seen the strawberry one so I bought this one. I think it's okay but also kind of tastes a little bit like medicine. And then I saw this one which is from the brand Lot 100 but I've never seen this candy. It just says that it's sour candy assorted sour center filled. Hopefully it's nice. It feels like it's like the mentors, little individual packs inside so hopefully I can share with my friends. Oh, I also saw this one, which is a flavour that we don't have, but I'm pretty sure it will come to Singapore soon. We bought in JB this green colour one, which is green grape flavour. It was just so good. And then I saw it in Singapore. And it's not even like cheaper in Malaysia, it's kind of around the same price. But I've never seen the strawberry here, so I decided to buy this one. This is just the Eclipse Chewy Mints, and they're really tiny, so you finish this really fast. Oh, wow. It's all from that. Chewing gum brand, Wrigley's. I bought this one because I've been wanting to buy this but in like the can packaging. So when I saw it, I just thought, okay, I'll buy it. And it's just Wu Hua Guo. What is this? Fix? Oh man, it's in Malay. I don't know what is that. Jeruk Mamasin. <laughs> and then, at this like not 7-Eleven but this random shop that I don't even remember the name of. They have twisties but it has this like new one and it's so funny, it's Kaya Butter Toast which probably might be salty and sweet at the same time. I don't think I like sweet stuff and they have this like big coconut here which I'm not a fan of but it just sounded so funny I had to try it. <laughs> Alright, in Penang, because I've already been to the 7-Elevens, I did not need to go again and we went to Tosun Cafe which was our first stop for breakfast and the kopi was just so amazing. I cannot drink kopi. But I limited myself to 3 sips. Usually I should only have one, but I couldn't help myself. So I shared it with my husband and my husband said that they sell the packets one so that we should buy for my mom. And I said, okay, let's buy. So we bought two packets for our mama. But I don't think my mother-in-law wants it. So I will have to ask him again. Another packet here. They have different options. I told him I wanted the sugar one for my mom. So he also got the sugar one from his mom. They have the... Kopi dengan gula Coffee with sugar here This is 15.50 ringgit so it's around like 5 SGD It's not cheap at all for 20 sachets But it was just so good And I told him that my mom is those kind She's not very healthy, she loves 3 in 1 So they only have 2 in 1 So you have to add cream yourself Or they have the like black colour one without sugar I think they also have like the loose beans yeah, but it was just so good. Hopefully this is good and our parents will love it. 